A very good morning to you. It is Sunday, the 26th of July, the year 2020, and this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. What is the most powerful force on earth? One word, love. How do you spell love? J-E-S-U-S. -S, that's right. If we look at the word of God in John chapter 15 and verse 13, this is what it says. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Now, that's exactly what Jesus did for you and for me. Do you know in the Old Testament, there are only two men that are called the friends of God. The first one was Abraham, that's right, and the second one was Moses. That's all in the whole of the Old Testament. And yet Jesus calls you and me his friends. Isn't that amazing? And he says he's prepared to die for you. In fact, he did die for you and me on the cross of Calvary. John chapter 3 and verse 16. I remember many years ago reading a book called The Cross and the Switchblade. It was the story of David Wilkerson, the skinny preacher from the country that went to the big city of New York to try and help the gangsters. And he was uh, preaching on the middle of the street on a, a soapbox to a crowd of rough and tough gangsters, young kids, probably in their late teens, early 20s. And right at the back was one of the ringleaders. His name was Nicky Cruz. And he said, God loves you. And he pointed to Nicky Cruz. And Nicky Cruz told him to get lost. And David Wilkerson went after him. And Nicky Cruz ran into his den in the basement of some building, and the skinny preacher ran after him, and he got him in a corner, and he said, Nicky, God loves you. He said, Preacher, if you don't get out of here, I'll take my switchblade, and I'll cut you into a hundred pieces. And David Wilkerson said to Nicky Cruz, and every piece will tell you the same thing. God loves you. And with that, he broke down and wept and gave his life to Jesus and became a great evangelist himself. Today, go out and love people. That's what people need. There are so many people that are lonely, fearful, tired, lost. Just tell them that Jesus Christ loves them so much that he died for them. Have a wonderful Sabbath day. God bless you and goodbye.